Hello, in this video we're going to look at various different ways of incrementing and decrementing variables. So we've seen that in our video on while loops uh, that we had to increment a variable and that's such an important thing to do and there are various ways to do it. So we're going to look at some of them here and that's going to sort of, although it might not seem very important now, we're going to find that this is going to be quite enlightening as we progress through the course. So uh, let's start off with a variable here. I'm going to make it of type int and I'm going to, let's call it just um, count and set it equal to zero. So what we did to incre increment our variable for our while loop was we wrote this, something like this, count plus count, sorry, count equals count plus one. And we've, we've already gone over that, so I won't go over it again. Um, and then if we output it, then, okay, it started at zero, and so it's going to be one now. And if we just run that, that we can see the value one in the console. Of course, if I started it at something else, like 11, and I increment it, it will be 12. So there's, there's no great mysteries there. Nothing special about zero here. Now, there are various other ways we can do that. So um, one way is we can um, we can use the same operator that we previously used with strings plus equals. So I could say here let's increment it further. So I could say here count plus equals one, and then we'll output it. So what we're doing here is um, we start off with count at zero, and then we're we're adding one to it by the most basic kind of simple method we're outputting it and then we're adding one to it by another method and outputting it again so we expect to see one and two in the console now what this does is the plus equals is exactly equivalent to count equals count plus one it's equivalent to that it's like a sort of synonym for it uh, the plus equals operator takes the existing value of a variable and add something to it, or it, it kind of looks like it does that at least with with strings. Um, uh, with strings, you use it to concatenate more text to an existing string, basically. Uh, and in fact, um, with strings, what you're really doing is creating a completely new string and create and assigning the original string reference to refer to a new string. But that, that's not important. We'll leave that aside for now, but I just wanted to mention that. Um, so yeah, we're, we're taking count and we're adding one to its existing value using plus equals. And we'll just run that. Let's run it. So uh, we've got one and two uh, coming out in the console there. So let's increment it by yet another uh, way of incrementing variables. Let's do count plus plus semicolon. So this is um, is the well, it's the increment operator. Um, it's uh, yeah. There's 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 some subtleties to this, but I'm going to leave them aside just for this minute. Let's just output this already. So that does it. it, it in this case, it does the same thing as these other statements that we've got. It's just going to in, increase the value of count by one. So now with, with these statements here, you don't have to increase the value of count by one. You could increase it by anything you like. We're just specifying one here as it happens. In this case, it specifically increases the values of integers by one. So you can't use it to increase them by 10 or something. It's, it's, it is going to be one. So what we expect now is to see that after we've done that, and we've, if we print it out again, its value will now, at this point in the program, it will be three. So if we run this, we see it's three. So we've got one, two, three. Another thing we can do is this, plus plus count. And don't forget the semicolon, of course, as usual. And if we output that, this does almost the same thing as this. So if we run it, uh, indeed, it's increased the value of count to four. Now, this is called the 
postfix version of this operator. Postfix meaning after, you know, it's, it's kind of fixed on after the variable. This is the prefix version. Prefix meaning, well, a prefix, you know, it's fixed in place before the variable. Uh, there is a difference between these, this and this, but we won't look at it in this video. Um, we'll talk about it in another video. So we, we see here that there are four different ways um, that spring to my mind, at least, that we could in increase or increment the value of this, of a, of a variable, of an integer variable. First way is this, count equals count plus one. We can also do count plus equals one or count plus equals whatever other number we want. Uh, and then we can use a postfix increment operator, count plus plus, or we could use a prefix increment operator, plus plus count. Um, so I would suggest trying those out, but actually, uh, before you do that, let's look at decrementing the variable as well. So I can do the same thing in reverse uh, for every increment operator there's a kind of well for every way of incrementing this there's also a way of decrementing it so if I say count equals count minus one that's going to that's going to take the value of count subtract one from that value and at the moment we're, we're then holding that new value temporarily in memory and then assign that new value to the original variable so this has the effect of subtracting one from the value of count. I'm, I'm giving you explanations here, but that is to try to, hopefully you'll understand bits of my explanations at least, but the real learning will take place when you type this out and try it and even experiment with it. So if we now run this, then we get one, two, three, four, and then we decremented it and we've got down to three again. We can also uh, decrement using this kind of a technique. So instead of plus equals, we can do minus equals. Let's do count minus equals one and sys out. Let's run this. So now it's down to two. Uh, so this, this is precisely equivalent to this. Let's just format that to get rid of that blank line. Well, that doesn't work. Oh yeah, it does, okay. So this, and this mean exactly the same thing. We can also do count negative negative or count minus minus. Uh, so that's the postfix decrement operator. And that works just fine. So if we run this now, it's down to one. And finally, we can do a prefix decrement operator. We could do this, count minus minus count. We could have used any of these methods in our for loop, in our while loop, sorry. Uh, well, any of the methods that increment it, at least. So let's run this, and we get, finally, we, we get down to zero, which is what it was to start with. And to make that clearer, actually, after I initially uh, assign the value zero to count, let's put an initial sys out in there. So it starts off at zero, we increment it, one, two, three, four, and then we're decrementing it by various methods, three, two, one, zero. Now what I'd suggest is that you type all of these yourself, um, either one after the other, or just try them. Just create a program, increment a variable in it like this, run it, check that it works, and then change that to this. So get this to work. Once you've tried them all out, try to write this program um, from memory. That is, start with a variable that has some value, for example, zero, and then increment it by each of the four different methods, and then outputting it every time afterwards, and then decrement it by each of the four methods, outputting it every time. Um, if you can be bothered to do that, that'll help fix all these different operators in your mind and then uh, you'll, you'll feel more confident when we actually start using them. So in other words, try to replicate this program from memory, but I'll probably suggest, unless you're feeling confident, that you try each of them out individually before you try to do it all without referring back to this code. Have a go at it and see how far you get. 
Okay, so until next time, happy coding.